Hey guys, um, hope you guys are doing okay. I was bored yesterday, so I decided to do a um, composite image. This is inspired by a former student of mine um, in Anchorage. Um, he's been doing this as far as like him and his roommates in college, as far as what he's doing. But of course, it's just a composite image of just him. So I thought I'd share it with you guys and give you guys an opportunity to try that on your own. So I'm gonna do a quick video on how I did that. And I did that yesterday with my um, camera, but I did another one this morning with my iPhone. So I'll show you that one. So if we go over here, um, I'm going to pull up bridge. Um, I took four images this morning. Um, took this one, this one, this one, and this one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up, I'm going to open up all three of these. So I'm going to select all of them, right click, uh, open with Adobe Photoshop. And it's going to pull them all up into there, into separate tabs on my screen. Now, um, you can do all four of these into one composite, but I'm gonna choose just two. I'm gonna do this one and this one to make it easy, okay? So I'm gonna pull this tab over to here and I'm gonna close this image out and I'm gonna close this image out. So I'm dealing with these two. The first thing I'm gonna do is uh, press V or click the move tool, which is this little cross up here. Go over here to my layers panel uh, actually, I'm going to start with this one. Click here and then drag this over to the other tab. Let it flip, bring it here, and then let go. Now, if you notice over here on my layers panel, now I have two layers. I've got my background layer and I've got this new layer. I'm going to go to the new layer again with my move tool. I can move this new layer around. And basically, think of this as two photographs that are laying on top of each other. Okay. And that's what it is. You got layer one is here and then the background layer underneath it. So using Photoshop's guides, I'm gonna make sure it's lined up so if you can see those purple guidelines showing that it is perfectly centered and then I'm gonna let go. Now as I turn on and off the little eyeballs on my layers menu, you can see this is the top layer and you cannot see the bottom layer. I turn off the top layer and now I can see the bottom layer. So what we're gonna do is use a layer mask, okay? so. Uh, this top layer, I'm gonna go down over here to this little symbol, which is our layer mask, add a layer mask, and you can see it's white. If it's white, that means that you it is opaque, you cannot see through it. If you paint black onto a layer mask, you end up basically cutting a hole in the layer mask, allowing you to see what's underneath it. So I'm gonna go to B for brush tool, okay, or click right over here, um, and then this is my brush. Uh, I can use either the brackets, right bracket makes it bigger, left bracket makes it smaller. And I'm going to go over here to my colors. I'm going to press D for default colors, which means white on the top and then black as a background. And then X will switch back and forth. So I want to paint with black. Black, if I paint black onto this layer mask, and you can see I have a layer mask selected because the brackets are around it. If I paint black on the layer mask, what it does is it cuts a hole in that layer mask and allows you to see what was underneath it. So you can see over here, this is my layer mask and I've cut a hole in it. And so now you can see the image that was below it. Okay. Now if I click Alt and click here, it'll show what my layer mask looks like. And I can paint here too, just to make sure I've got it exactly the way I want it. I'll click back over there and then you're done. Um, to do more of these, it gets more complicated because you've got to have the above mask account for the bottom mask and account for the bottom mask. But it's just all about going back and forth, um, painting black to make sure you can see through, paint white to cover up. And this is a fundamental understand. You, this is a fundamental tool in Photoshop that if you understand how to use this, you can do anything. Um, it's not just about like hiding or showing composite images. It's also about hiding or showing any other type of adjustment that you do to those layers that I'll talk about later. All right. Good luck. Let's see what you guys come up with.